Okay. There's our pot hook. And if this end doesn't hold the way I want it to, we'll just put another hook in the other end and use that instead of this stick. But we'll see, guys. All right, guys, so for our parallel fire lay, we want to create a base of wood because the beauty of this fire is that the coals are going to fall. We're going to start the fire on top of our base and the... Um, coal and ashes are going to fall through and help build up the fire from underneath. Um, it's a long lasting fire, it's a warm fire, it takes advantage of um, maybe not the best wood, a lot of wet wood or dead wood or um, things like that. It takes very good advantage of that and keeps the fire going. It's a good warming fire and I'm going to do it with some smaller logs but you can do this exact same fire with bigger uh, leg size pieces or um, a little smaller than hug size pieces. So let's get this base built up here. And we're not doing a big survival fire or anything like that, so this isn't going to be very big. So I have three, but you can go five, you can go as many as you want, depending on how long you need the fire for and how long you're going to be out here. So I go three, then two, and then... We could even go one up here. Okay, so I have three, and then two, and then one. And then we're going to start the fire over on one of these sides here. So I'll move the one back a little bit. Let me bring you around here. So if you start with five on the bottom, so you could start with five on the bottom and then go four, three, two, and one. Um, depending on the size of the logs, they could be bigger than that. We're not doing a survival fire once again, guys. We're not looking to stay warm all night in the winter time. I just kind of wanted to show you the basics of the fire um, and enjoy the day with the fire, cook a little bit. So I have three, two, and then one. And then we're gonna start the uh, start our fire right on this side. Okay, and getting started, I wanted to show you guys my prep here. This is our pencil lead size sticks or twigs. This is gonna be the first thing that goes on the fire. Then we have our pencil sized so we're gonna go from this pile, then we're gonna to go to this pile, and then over here is the fuel. So thumb-sized and bigger over here. We even have some with the feather sticks. So our feather sticks are gonna go on once we get the fire going. Another thing we can do is, uh, oh, I grabbed a piece of birch bark. There was a down birch bark tree on my way in, so we could use that. I'm also going to show you um, shavings. We could use shavings here. So with shavings, we're just going to take the very sharp spine of the Spyderco. Just using the spine of the knife, guys.
So as you guys can see, Here's our pile of shavings, fine shavings from the spine of the Spider Co. Okay guys, we have our fine shavings right there on our piece of birch bark. And then I'm gonna move to the feathers, 